Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Pulse ZR2 cordless lithium iron clippers, limited edition floral. So I'm excited to get inside this box. They are the number one brand for professional groomers. I myself am a professional dog groomer, have been for many years and more recently I've been appointed as an ambassador for Andis Australia so I'm very excited to get inside this box and show you what we've got inside. So we'll take off the outer sleeve and oh. we've got a nice sturdy case and this logo on the front. So inside we have the limited edition clipper. Um, beautiful floral pattern on there. I myself love anything colourful as you can see. <laughs> um, it's got the um, on off switch on the side. Simple up and down on off switch. And in the centre it's got um, increase and decrease speed button which is easy to manipulate with just one finger. It comes with a 10 blade which is a ceramic 10 blade. It also comes with two batteries. It has, it has a battery already fitted in the back of the um, clipper but it's got a spare battery so it comes with a charging base stand, cables for the charging base stand. Ooh, the neat thing about this is it's got various different plugs so you can find the correct one to suit your country. This is the one we need for Australia. There's one, two, three, four, five different plugs in there. Um, so we just slot this one onto the back of this socket and then we're ready for the Australian market. This then plugs into the back there. And the charging stand is great for both your clipper. It's in there nice and snug. Nice solid base and also your spare battery fits in there so you can be charging your battery while you're using your clipper. We've also got spare blade drive, it's pretty cool and some clipper oil. So that is everything you will need to get started with the very beautiful Andis Pulse ZR limited edition floral clippers. Um, I'll just show you one last thing. It's so easy to remove these blades. There's a little button at the back. Press the button in and pull it up. When you go to put your new blades on, you need to start your clipper up and then put your blade on and then close it. I'm not gonna do it in this instance because they've not been charged. So I'm going to give these a full charge and then I'll give you a demonstration at some point in the future. Thank you.